Merry Christmas everyone and thanks for joining us today on this holiday themed video. This one is very special because I'm here with my lovely wife Katie who's going to be helping me out today. Hi everyone! I thought it would be fun for us to play a game today as we introduce each item in the collection, which of course is for Boop. the Super Nintendo! For each game we introduce, I will say the title out loud, but I will only show the box to all of you. Then, based on knowing only the title, Katie will try to guess what the game is about, like the genre and the main goal or plot. I suspect she'll know at least a couple of these, but let's just say she's not quite as prominent in the gaming scene as maybe some of us are. So this should be a fun time. Does that all make sense to you, Katie? Yes. You good with that, Peach? <laughs> all right, let's get started. So, do you want to start on easy mode or hard mode? Is there a normal mode? No. Hard mode. Hard mode, okay. Let's see what we got first. So hard one I think you're probably not going to get. Okay, back to easy. Back to easy. You want easy now? <laughs> easy. You I want to get one. Oh, you want to start by getting one? Yeah. Okay, we'll start on easy mode. Okay. Oh yeah, so I, I can't show you. I can't show you, so I'll put the box over the screen for all, you all to see. And then I'll let you see it at the end though. And yeah. See if you yeah. have any new thoughts based yeah. on that. Okay, so first game is Donkey Kong Country. That's gotta be about Donkey Kong, the, the banana guy. I am debating between whether he's like out in like the Wild West country or like going from country to country, conquering or saving the countries. I'm going with he's going <laughs> haven't from you play, Haven't you played Donkey Kong? Yeah, but he, I don't know like the plots. I played the one where- You said he's a banana guy though, right? Yeah, he's a monkey. Yeah. Banana monkey guy. I'm pretty sh I'm pretty sure it's like about his bananas. Like you got that. Like he's like his bananas are stolen. Do you know who tries to steal his bananas? No. It's I'm guessing another monkey. No, it's not. It's it's Shrek. Well, it's like Shrek with a crocodile head, and he has Doesn't a crown. Doesn't really make sense. <laughs> okay, so do you know the other Kong characters? There's a lady monkey. Who's that? Mrs. Donkey Kong. <laughs> no. Well, I think there's like there's a there's Janky Kong. There's Foxy Kong. Cool Kong. I think one of them is just called Gary. Does that ring any bells? Yes. It does? I feel like I do remember like other Kongs, like Lady Kong. That's Dixie Kong. Ah. Here, here you go. Does that uh, do anything for you? Um, no. Next game. <laughs> it looks nice. It sure does. It looks nice. Uh, every Super Nintendo game does really, right? The next game is Mortal Kombat 2. It sounds like it could be similar-ish to Super Smash Bros, maybe? because it's So like it's a combat. fighting game. Yeah, it's a fighting game. But if it's Mortal Kombat 2, I feel like it has to be like... Well, maybe they just added more moves. I don't know. I'm not a huge Mortal Kombat guy. But I do know that in the Super Nintendo game, they like took out all the blood and gore. Mm -hmm. Like in Sega Genesis, they had that. Mm -hmm. That probably means is really meaningful to you. Mm. <laughs> so do you want to see the box? Yeah. Here you go. Kind of reminds me of when I saw you play that boxing game that one time. Boxing game? Um, Punch out? Yeah. And uh, looks like there's probably a reason Super Smash Bros. was so successful. <laughs> Next one is F-Zero. I think it's about the some people trying to survive in the cold. <laughs> it's like zero degrees Fahrenheit. It's really cold. So like, like Sub-Zero no. from Mortal Kombat. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> F Zero. I think it's a snow skiing game where you're like snow skiing. I think it's racing. You're racing down a ski. Yeah. Game. Do you know any characters from the game? It's the ski guy, the guy that skis. Here it is. I mean, I guess it's a racing game, but they're not on skis, and they're just in cars. Perfect. Well said. <laughs> <laughs> that's per that's pretty much what it is. Next game is Star Fox. Star Fox. That one is an adventure game about a fox trying to save the world. Well, it is, there is a fox. You're right about that. Wait, are you done? Are you done guessing? Yeah, that was my guess. It was. Okay, it's good. an action adventure game right. about a fox who so tries to save the world. That's a good way to do it. Try try it again now. Okay. Um. It, there is a fox. Okay. I think it's a racing game again, but he's on a spaceship. It's so it's like a, it's like an arcade shooter game. You remember that the oh. one you played back at like a yeah. couple Christmases ago? So it's yeah. kind of like that. Got it. Why is the main character a fox? Because of all these kooky cast characters. Look at those guys. And well, a... what's that guy's name? Star Fox? No. Well, yes, but well, no. He's Fox McCloud. Fox McCloud, Frog McMoon, <laughs> Rabbit McGalaxy, and Rooster, <laughs> Rooster. Black Hole. <laughs> Rooster. He's a what is he? He's a hawk. 
Oh. I forget. He's in Smash Bros. 2 now. They're throwing... I'm surprised the frog didn't make it in yet. Hmm. I think it's Pip Pippi or Peppy is the frog's name. Now, yeah, I don't even know it that well. You're in good company. Should have done your research, man. <laughs> Calling me out here. Next game is going to be Killer Instinct. What do you think? Uh, Killer Instinct, that's gotta be like James Bond-esque, like spy themed. Yeah, I think it's So you think a, like an espionage or something? I think it's a spy game featuring James Bond. Do you think it's like a shooter then? Like a first person shooter? What is the shooter where like, you're not like on the gun, but you can like see the guy's back? That's third person. Third person shooter. Okay, let's see how you did. Killer Instinct. It looks like another fighting game. Like what was the last one we looked at? Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it's pretty much that. Just different characters and has its own kind of feel to it, but hmm. I'm sure there's a story I in like this one, I like the James too. Bond version. So you wish the game were James Bond? Yes. The next game up is Blackthorn. What are the types of games again? Blackthorn, I think it's an adventure one. Again, you're going on an adventure. You have to get through obstacles such as thorns. <laughs> and um, what, are you, what, are you trying to, what do you think you're trying to do in the game? You're trying to like get treasure. Like that's, that's fair gems. guess. That's fair, a lot of, you do that in a lot of games. Yeah, you're getting gems. You want to see the box? Yeah. I'm standing by what I said. I think you have to get through. <laughs> I see like some little weeds and stuff. Right I mean, you're, you're pretty close. You, the only thing I'd say you missed is that you have a gun. It's like a like an action platformer, I guess you call it. So yeah. you like shoot guys. Well, you could get treasure and yeah, there's, there's like a story, but you did good. Good I'm job. Just, I'm calling that a win. All right. So since you got that one, we got to try one that you will have maybe a harder time with. Okay. And that is going to be Secret of Evermore. Um, ooh, I think it's like one of those, uh, what is it called when it's like the story and you like make choices and it's like turn by turn combat. Like, Pokemon. like an RPG? Yeah, I think it's an RPG where you have to solve a mystery by going on quests. Maybe it's about a kid that doesn't know his parents. <laughs> You're very good. Do you want to see the box? Yeah. Hey, it's about a kid. Huh, that's a really scary villain though. I think his, cover. Yeah, I think his name's Jeff. I don't think that's right. I think it still is an RPG. I it is. Turn by turn combat. Your main character is a guy with... He's got a, a bone he fights with and a shape-shifting dog that can turn in and help you out with stuff. Yeah, there's a dog. It's really cool. cool. You would yeah. love it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the name. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I wonder, is that tied to like Secret of Mana for the PS1? You, you wouldn't know. Yeah, I'm just, you I'm know, thinking out loud. Let, yeah, us know. let us know. The next game is Chrono Trigger. You've talked about this game. Very when you, much, when you got it, you were times. like super pumped about it. It's uh, what do you, do you go with genre? Chrono, Chrono Trigger. Yeah. yeah, the guy has a gun. <laughs> Chrono has a gun. It's a platform like scrolly guy game. The goal is just to kill everyone. <laughs> just like a murder spree. Uh, Rampage. No. Nope. He's clearing an area of bad guys. So that's the goal. Oh, so he's a he's a valiant killer. Yeah, he's a valiant. good guy. Chrono's killer. good. He's killing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like counterintuitive. Of God. <laughs> He's a good guy. He's killing everyone. <laughs> He's killing all the bad guys. That's that's the the goal of the game oh is gosh. to clear an area of all evil aliens. Probably they're probably aliens. Fair. Fair yep. guess. That's my guess. You want to see the box? Yep. Here you go. Huh. <laughs> this does not. Okay. Revising my guess. One of another one of those um, RPGs. Yep. Yep. And uh, they have to go on a quest. That's pretty much it. This one's like known as one of the best RPGs of all time, if not the best. I mean, look at that cover. It's pretty great. Did you know the guy, like the guy who made the Dragon Ball Z show illustrations, also did this? You know, and, like, really I can kind of see, it see in the art. Yeah, yeah, the little flames. And like the hair, the hairdo on the guy. Mm -hmm. You I'll ready see. for the next one? Yes. Next game is Illusion of Gaia. Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> We're on hard mode now. <laughs> <laughs> Illusion of Gaia. Is there like a puzzle game back in the day? For sure. Yeah, I think it's, it's like... It's not this one. <laughs> an RPG of a guy. It's a... Uh, I don't know. Let me see the box. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, going with that Gaia is like a god and trying to pull one over on these people and they're trying to like solve the mystery while battling this like omnipresent force that keeps like changing the environment. 
Right. Same idea. If this is an <laughs> I think Guy is like a good a good guy, and he like the illusion is like you see this vision of him, and he tells you or her, and tells you of like an impending disaster, like a comet coming towards Earth. Chaos comet. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, there you go. And like you turn into different guys that have bigger. They're bigger and they have more powers. It's super cool. That is a great game. Another classic RPG. There were many on the Super Nintendo. Very cool. Next one. Yep. We're down to just a couple here. The next game is Final Fantasy II. Final Fantasy. So all I know about Final Fantasy is that is what that Mickey Mouse game was based off of. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Uh, so Final Fantasy. It's got to be about these guys that have cool swords and they're going on a quest to. Um... They have the best swords. Yeah. So you you know about these. So here yeah. you go. So it's yeah. I mean the sword. Get what's got the that, main right? character's name? El Elvin. That's right. <laughs> no, no, there's no way. <laughs> That's close enough. I think it's Cecil. 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 Mm -hmm. Caesar. Julius Caesar is the main character of Final mm, Fantasy no, II. You want to do the next yeah, game? Right. Yeah. All right, we're on the last game. Okay. And that is Final Fantasy III. Well, it's got to be more about the swords. I'm guessing in Final Fantasy I, they save the world. Everyone's like, this is great. Final Fantasy II, sophomore album. Uh, probably not quite as good as Final Fantasy 1, but people were so attached to it that they just kept going. Final Fantasy 3, they made their comeback. And uh, the villain that they thought that they defeated in Final Fantasy 1 came back. They had to conquer that villain, and um, they succeeded. Would you believe me if I told you none of these entries have any continuity, and that number 3 is actually number 6, and number 2 is actually number 4? I would believe you, but I would say that's confusing. Does that? <laughs> here's yeah. the here's the game. Throws it all off. So they're all like individual isolated stories. There are some they did later where they have sequels. Like there was a ten and a ten two. It's a completely different story. This one is this is one of the best ever, and uh, it had a, one of the most memorable villains. This was just a great game. I mean, look at that box art. It's got the cute little poofy guy on it. Do you know what he's called? Fred. He's a Moogle. I think some of them have names though, so that could very well be Fred. Very cool. Is this your last one? That's the last one. Well, that's going to do it for this collection game. I sure had a great time, and I hope all of you did too. Can you just imagine waking up in the early 90s and finding one of these things under your tree? I hope the thought of that doesn't ruin Christmas for you. But why should it? These days, you might wake up to find a PS5. They still sell those, right? Big thanks to Katie for taking a break from gift wrapping today to join me for these shenanigans. Thank you, Katie. You were awesome. You're welcome. Happy to be here. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was a great time. So what did you think of the collection? There's a lot of games, a lot of RPGs. Should I buy more? If you want. They're going in the cabinet there, though. <laughs> eh, they can go in the back. Like the back Double room? Double layered. Double layered. Double layered? Mm -hmm. Like we move all the movies, your movies back and we put the games up no. front. No. What did you think of the Super Nintendo, Peach? She loves Super Nintendo. To everyone watching, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, have a great New Year, all of the beautiful things. Merry Christmas, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so, oh, I missed it again. I don't Super know. Nintendo's so great. <laughs> Come on, Oh.